All right, so I actually just got back from work and to my surprise, I wasn't expecting it to come this soon, but my new shelf arrived for my puzzles. All right, so here are the pieces of the bookshelf. Now the plan is, this couch is already moved. So we're gonna take this bookshelf and put it over behind my desk here, near the couch. End table will probably stay around here next to the bookcase. I'll see what it looks like. And then our new bookcase, well, puzzle shelf, is gonna move to where the old shelf is. So we're gonna put the bookshelf together now and hopefully it all goes smoothly. Hi, Gizmo. is in place our old one is over here right behind my desk along with my couch on the side and the little table that I had I'm just gonna leave it there um I'm a little overwhelmed but I think the best thing I can do right now is kind of separate all the nicer looking Disney puzzle boxes and I think I want to have those on this shelf here on display the rest of these i'm thinking just leaving it the way I'm, i had them previously with like my other collectibles on the top maybe one of my book collections here and then again this one here of just the fancier looking disney puzzle boxes and the rest will be books as well this is what's daunting me here i don't really know how to go about organizing all this in terms of if I'm going to do it by brands, if I'm going to do it by style or what. But yeah, I have a lot to go through here. This is kind of overwhelming, to be honest. But I think the best thing I can do right now is kind of just go through all these boxes and separate them by brand or by style or kind of like how I think I want to organize it and then start loading them onto the shelves and seeing what it looks like. So you know what? Enough talk. Let's put some music on and let's get started on this. All right, so, so far I have 3D puzzles. I have, oh, the right Ravensburger is just laid over here. I have other Ravensburger here, but I'll probably kind of separate them according to like Disney and non-Disney ones. I have a pile here of brands that I kind of only have one set of each. Now, I know I've replied to some of your comments regarding Buffalo puzzles, and I think I kept saying like, oh, I need to build up my Buffalo collection without realizing that, um, yeah, I do have quite a bit of Buffalo puzzles, which kind of makes me feel a bit silly because um, I don't even know what I have. So we have the nicer looking Disney box sets here that I think are gonna go on the main shelf here. And then these are all like the Seiko branded ones. And these are from brands that I only have like one set of from. And this is like Cardinal, Rose Art. I have non-Disney Seiko puzzles in this pile. And that should be in the one, the one off pile as well. So I think it's time. You know what? Let's do this shelf first. I want to get the pretty Disney puzzles away. Oh, I just did a haul video on this from my eBay win. So this is going to end up in probably the Rose Art and Cardinal shelves if they have space for it. 
or they might just end up on a shelf on their own. So we'll see. Let's get busy. Let's continue. <laughs> put all these books away back on this shelf but what I have done on this shelf so far is kind of set up like I said before the prettier boxes of the Disney puzzles pretty much all of these aside from these two here are ones that I picked up at Disney World when I was there one of the last times so I kind of feel like this is a nice little focal point for this bookshelf here and then on top here as I said I'm gonna set it up the way I had it originally with my books and my collectibles but the real progress was over here it's funny how once you actually start going through what you have you realize how much you actually accumulate over a short period of time so now it is time to tackle the rest of this bookshelf and just put everything back where it originally belongs and kind of clean up the rest of my room super exhausted right now so I think I'm gonna call it it for a night and I'll probably continue tomorrow I will see you then all right well it's actually a few days later and the room is finally done so let me flip this camera around and let me show you the new improved Mandy cave so I originally had this couch over here and the tv unit over here but that's all flipped around now so now we have the bookcase that was in front of my computer under the TV set and we wall mounted this now. I got my pictures up there. Then by the couch, this looks a little crowded right now because I have my puzzle table there currently folded up, but that's going to move obviously because I got to get some puzzles going. Have this little table here and I removed the puzzles that were in there because I'm going to show you where they are now. And then over here, I kind of made this one shelf just kind of like my exclusive Disney puzzles, basically ones that I've gotten from the park or the Shop Disney website. So I have that there set up with some other Disney things, have some Disney pictures. Down there are my Fear Street books. And then up here, I kind of decluttered this shelf. It had a lot going on. I kind of had all this and all this stuff on one shelf but now it's broken up into two i put my castle picture there and kind of set up my snape shrine my sailor moon shrine is here and honestly i'm really happy with the way this bookshelf turned out in terms of the way i've organized it because i kind of had like those two shelves just cluttered with puzzles and not very well organized and it's just a little bit better to look at in my opinion. Oh, sorry for the lighting. So yeah, that was the old bookcase and now you can see it's in front of my computer. And obviously this was on the other wall, but here's what's on the other wall now. Ta-da! I'm getting a lot of reflection from the sun, so I do apologize. But anyways, here is my puzzle box wall. I must say, it is crazy how quickly this puzzle collection has grown since I started this channel. And I'm happy to have finally kind of set it up really the way I want it to. So there's a lot more shelf space now to accommodate all my puzzles and more. <laughs> Don't tell anyone I said that. But anyways, 
I kind of have it a little better organized, kind of have all my Disney puzzles in the middle here. I have my buffalo sets here. There's the Aquarius, White Mountain, like the Seco puzzles, there's masterpieces. So over here is like the Ravensburger sets. And that's where I have like currently my 3D puzzles right now. Now this shelf was empty, but I figured why not put my butt cushion and my puzzle accessories here? This is great. I'm sure eventually I'll get more sets and I'll need to replace what's in there, but that's okay for now, it's gonna work. I'm really quite happy with this. And then of course, you know, I was gonna put that in the dining room, but then I figured, you know what? It should go where my puzzles are. It looks beautiful. That's my Pintu puzzle. So yeah, this is, this is improvements. This is good stuff. I'm really happy with the way that looks now compared to what I had before. And honestly, the move of everything in my room really makes it feel like it's much bigger than it was before. I'm not doing a very good job trying to show the amount of space that I have in here now, but this is way more spacious than the setup I had before. I'm really happy with it. I'm so glad that I did it. Now for the space above my couch, it's a bit bare. All I have is Professor Snape, but I do plan to add framed completed puzzles on this wall here so i figured you know what i'm not gonna try to fill it up with other random stuff now i'll leave snape here for now but over time this wall is gonna get frames and puzzles hanging on it and i'm pretty sure this wall will have another one or two images here as well because i kind of have like some very bad paint patchwork going on and some screws that need covering up. So as of right now, I'm happy with this, but it does need some more to this wall. But yeah, overall, I'm really happy with the way my room looks. It's more spacious. I have everything organized. It feels less cluttered in here. This is fantastic. And in this shelf, I, I moved all my Vampire Hunter D collection books here. All of these are my husband's books, but that's mine. That was in the other shelf previously. And then here, I kind of just left my budget puzzles, which were small boxes. And it's really the only thing that can fit in, the, in this shelf here. So I figured we'll just keep that there and it looks good. So yeah, that was a lot of work. It was pretty exhausting, to be honest. And I, I don't know, maybe that was just because I had just come from work and I was pretty tired. But, you know, it was all worth it in the end. And of course, with the help of my husband and my daughter, it was much easier to just kind of get things out of the way and moved back. And so I didn't do it alone, obviously, as you saw within the time lapse. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the link to the new shelving unit that I have um, down in the description box below so that if you're interested in kind of getting some more shelf space or if you like that shelf, you can pick it up there. My room has been a serious disaster for quite a while now, so it really does feel a lot better now that it's completed, everything is up on the walls, everything is organized and sorted out. I weeded out some things too, so, you know, I got rid of garbage, and overall, it just feels so much better in this room. I don't feel like as tense, I don't feel like claustrophobic, I have so much more space, you know, like I said in my first organizing video, decluttering and cleaning up kind of like gives you, I don't know, it just seems to take a weight off of you. It's kind of freeing really to get rid of stuff you don't need and just to kind of make your space more bearable to look at and to be in really. So with it being spring now, I encourage you all to get busy getting through your closets, through rooms in your house and start getting rid of junk. Trust me, it's going to make you feel a whole lot better. So hit that like button if you're a declutter fan. And if so, and if you've done any cleaning up recently, let me know down below how much junk did you actually get rid of. Now also, because I'm pretty sure at some point as I, you know, accumulate more puzzles, I'm pretty sure the way I have my sets organized at the minute is probably not going to stay the same. I don't know. So also let me know down below how do you like to organize your puzzle sets? Do you like to do it by brand, by type, by style? Again, as I said, I'm pretty sure at some point I'm going to go through another clear route and another reorganize. So I like to hear what you guys like to do. Kind of give me some ideas as well on how to change it up a little bit. Anyways, guys, thank you for keeping me company during my organizing fiasco. Hope you are all doing well and I will see you in the next one.